Now, we already hit on one of the, the sort of hot topic items there on Sen's Twitter. We're, we're going to go to our second one here. And that seems to be people, again, taking up the camp of if he's there at 10, you take Wallstep, the goaltender, versus no, we don't need a goalie. We've got enough prospects coming down the pipeline. You take the best skater available there. Where do you fall on that? Because it's a huge if to even begin with, if he is going to be there yeah. with the team selecting ahead of him. But Let's say the stars align. He's there at 10. What would you like to see the senators do? Oh, I would, I would jump out of my seat. I might, I might like run out of my house and run down my street. If they selected Jesper Wallstead, I would be so excited. Um, I, I, I like, I'm, I'm a massive Wallstead truther. I think that this guy is the real deal. And I mean, I don't, this is from me looking at YouTube footage at 2 AM. So, so who knows, <laughs> who knows like what I know about goalies, but I mean, like, I, I really do believe that he is that guy. Like, I really do believe that he is that elite goalie. And I think he has that potential to be a top three, a top five goalie in the NHL. And I think to have an opportunity to get a guy like that on your team at 10, uh, it, it's just, it's just a no brainer for me. Like if he's there, I, I feel like they have to take him. And I understand that there's a lot of promising players, it, it, a lot of promising goalie story in the pipeline. Like Matt Sogard looks like he's going to be the real deal. Philip Gustafson looked super poised this year. Even Joey Dak, if we're able to hold on to him. And like, I, there's, there's a lot, there's no lack of talent. I don't think that we're going to be in trouble if we don't get him. Um, but if he's there, like, I, I think that it just upgrades that p- position to a level that not a lot of teams have um, to be able to, to have like that elite goalie. I think that we saw it with Vasilevsky and price. I mean, to say the least, I know that's kind of been the comparison, but it's also, it, it's not anything new. Like a, a lot of, a lot of people go back to that, you know, like there's a lot of teams that win a, win a Stanley cup with an average goalie. And that might be true that like historically, but you look at Jordan Bingington when St. Louis won their cup and he was hands down the best goalie in the league. That's why they won the cup. He, he came in and he took a team that was in last place to the playoffs and then they ended up winning the cup. And then you look at, I mean, like all of these guys that have gotten hot at the right times. And if you have a goalie like that, that just means that he's probably going to get hot that much more often or that much more consistently. So for me, it's a no brainer if he's there. Uh, I mean, I'm even open to them trading up for him. Like I, I love this guy. I think he's the real, the real deal. I am, I'm all Jesper Wallstead. Um, but, but in all honesty, I don't think he's going to be there. Yeah, no, you and I are in the exact same boat. I have no problem with them packaging either, whether it's picks or some sort of prospect or something like that. Obviously not one of the blue chip ones there, but you know, some sort of pipeline prospect and moving up and getting him if they can make it happen. I was trying, hoping that last year they were going to work some sort of magic and, you know, package the extra late round first and a whole bunch of picks and move up ahead to get Askarov. That obviously didn't happen there, but uh, that to me seems to be the one ingredient that is missing. And I've written about it on Steve Warren's website there, sensnation.com all the time about how you need an elite goaltender if you're going to win the cup. Like if you just want to make the playoffs, sure. The the stack of good goaltenders and good enough to get there, you, you can ride with that. If you want to legitimately have a five-year window to compete there and not just a fluke, hey, look how deep we went here. You know, like the Sens have had a few of those of, oh, look how deep we went. And then we didn't even make the playoffs the next year, right? Like you need, it starts with goaltending. It starts from that back end. And I, I, I agree. I think Wallstead's the real deal. I think he is very comparable to the Vasilevskis and, you know, the Binningtons and some of the, the comparables that we've seen in sort of those scouting rankings. And if he's available there, or even if they need to move up two, three picks, whatever it is, the one I'm most worried about is Detroit. I just think Stevie Y, you know, <laughs> you know, he, he was there for the Vasilevsky days. So he, he knows the trouble that they have with what is it? Howard and, you know, Jonathan Bernier, they, they were marching out not that long ago. So God knows they need a goaltender out there, but I'm of the opinion, if you can get your hands on him, I don't care what skater outside of maybe Owen Power somehow fall to number 10, you, you, you're going to, try and make a move for him right yeah no and i i completely agree i i do think that stevie y is going to take him at six like i i just i can't see a world where he doesn't and if he doesn't i'm 
would have a hard time believing that San Jose is going to pass on them. So that's why I, I would honestly even be really open or, or would be excited if Ottawa even maybe packaged up those two seconds to move up a little bit. I don't know. I don't know. But I do think that that is, uh, is the kind of guy that we need to really put us over the top. And, you know, there is another goalie in this year's draft in Sebastian Casa, who is probably also going to be a first round guy. And he looks legit, massive guy, get incredible, like, like, unbelievable stats like one of those things where you almost have to wonder if it's a fluke because he just completely dominated the whl and there's been some talk that that maybe he's that option for ottawa maybe if they end up trading down later in the first round or maybe they even have a look with at him at 10 if, if they believe that he's that guy so i do agree though i do think that that is a big piece that ottawa should really be targeting um and you know like even even to speak to what you were saying when we did go on those deep cup runs craig anderson was a different goal in the playoffs he turned it on and he was unbeatable and to have a guy like that i mean like we were, we were fortunate because he was a playoff goalie um but but we don't know that that's gonna be the case with with any like any guy that comes in so yeah i i i completely agree i think it's the biggest uh well not the biggest position of need but if they have the chance to put a star in there th that's the place that they need to star the most mm -hmm.